Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this lecture I want to talk about uh, how to solve roots using the Moist theorem. Okay, so before I get, get into that, uh, I want to talk about uh, some of the, the, the more interesting uh, features in, in the polar forms, okay? So for example, if I have z is equals to 3 plus 4i, 3 plus 4i, okay? Now, by now, you should be able to convert that into the polar form of z is equals to 5 cis and then 0 0.927 radians, okay? Now, um, if we are to draw this onto the argon diagram, okay? So that's my real axis, that's my imaginary axis. And uh, if I draw a line uh, here, where this is 4, this is 3, okay? This is where my complex number lies, okay? And this is my theta, right? Now, if you can imagine that this line here can rotate 2 pi degrees, okay? So if it rotates 2 pi degrees, then that means that I will arrive at the same position at the same dot, right? So we need to so there are multiple or actually infinite amount of solution or, or ways that we can express 3 plus 4i in the polar form, yeah? So our equivalent solution for this would be we simply just add 2 k pi uh, in, the, in the cis function. So we should actually add 2 k pi at the end. So 5 cis 9, uh, 9 point, uh, 0 0.927 plus 2 k pi, where k is the number of rotations, okay? So say for example, if I rotate this uh, once, if I rotate this once, then that means k is equals to 1. So z is equals to 5 uh, cis 0 0.927 plus 2 pi, oh, plus 2 pi. Uh, that will give me back exactly 3 plus 4i. Okay? <clears throat> so, how do we use this information to solve for the cubic roots? Uh, well, not cubic roots, but for any other roots, okay? So, let me propose a question. Uh, if z to the 5 is equals to 3 plus 4i, okay? Then find the five roots the five roots in rectangular form rectangular form okay now this this question is just the same as asking you okay if z to the power of 3 is equals to 8 what is x okay so x is so x will have three numbers, okay? So one, two, and three. Uh, so for this question, z to the power of five is equal to three plus four, I right? find the five roots. You're basically finding the three, uh, sorry, the five factors, yeah, for this one. That if you multiply all of them back together, you would get three plus four, I again, okay? Uh, so coming back to the x, that will be uh, 2, 2, and 2, okay? So our first step that we need to do is that we have to convert uh, this 3 plus 4i into polar form, yeah? So that will be 3 plus 4i, uh, and that is equals to uh, 5 cis pi uh, no, sorry, uh, 0 0.927, okay? But remember our equivalent solution, so that will be plus 2k pi, okay? Now, to get rid of the, um, to get rid of the, the fifth power, we have to get it, get that to the other side, so 5 cis 0 0.927 plus 2k 2k pi 
raise that everything to the power of 1 over 5 okay so from the Moist theorem there would be uh, 5 1 to the 1 fifth cis 0 0.927 plus 2 k pi over 5 okay now the function of k in, in this is that we have to iterate from k equals to 0 to k equals 1, k equals 2, k equals 3, k equals 4 to get our 5 factors, to get our 5 roots, right? So w we have to iterate that from 0 to 4. So our, my first solution would be k equals to 0 and z1 is equals to 5, uh, 1 over 5, cis 0 0.927 divided by 5. Okay, k2, oh, sorry, k1 is equals to z2 is equals to 5 to the power of 1 over 5, cis 0 0.927 plus 2 pi over 3, over 5. So k equals to 2, that would be z3 equals to 5 to the power of 1 over 5, cis. 0 0.927 plus 4 pi over 5. Now let's do the rest. Uh, k equals 3 and k equals 4. So k equals 3. That makes z to the power uh, z to the 4 e equals to 5 1 over 5 cis 0 0.927 plus 6 pi over 5. And then the last one k equals to 4 that makes z uh, the fifth z is equals to 5 1 over 5 cis 0 0.927 plus 8 pi over 5 okay so what that means is that uh, let's just recap for a bit uh, our question was z to the 5 is equals to 3 plus 4i find the roots okay but I will have five roots right so Z is first root second root third root fourth root fifth root okay and each of these and how to get each of these is to iterate K so I have to iterate K from 0 K from uh, K equals to 1 K equals to 2 K equals to 3 and K equals to 4 okay remember the K equals 0 is still a root it will still generate a root okay so when k goes to zero that's my first root second root third root fourth root fifth root okay now I've done the rectangular form already so z1 is equals to 1 point, 1 point three six plus 0 0.25 I z2 is equals to uh, 0 0.18 plus 1.7 uh, 37i z3 is equals to negative 1.25 plus 0 0.59i z4 is equals to negative 0 0.94 minus 1.00i and then the last one z to the 5 is equals to 0 0.66 minus uh, 1.21i okay so this is my roots in polar form so I've answered the question in here okay now one cool little little feature about this is that if you want to draw that on the argon diagram right if you want to draw this on the argon diagram oh, let's make this more straight Oh, that's better yeah if you if you want to all draw this onto the argon diagram now I'm just gonna approximate okay so the first one should be somewhere around uh, here so that Z1 uh, Z2 should be somewhere around here Z2 and then Z3 should be somewhere around uh, 
here probably uh, Z3 Z4 should be somewhere around here and then Z5 should be somewhere around here Z4 Z5 okay now that should be Z1 should be a little bit further so that should be around here okay so now what that means is if you were to connect the the complex number to the origin yeah these will all have the same angle between okay so this angle and this angle and this angle and this angle and this angle they're all the same so that means that uh, they're spread out by 360 over 5 so each angle uh, is 360 divided by 5 degrees apart and they're spread evenly evenly spread evenly spread okay so that's uh, a one uh, cool little feature about about the Moore's theorem okay is that the roots are evenly spread out onto the argon diagram okay now uh, just let me recap uh, on the procedure about this this type of question uh, oh let actually let's let's do the whole thing from the beginning so um, equivalent solution okay now equivalent solution the reason why we have equivalent solution is that once that once we convert rectangular form complex number to the polar form each rotation of 2 pi will give me exactly the same spot will give me exactly exactly the same uh, Z which is in here which is this part here okay so therefore we have to express our polar form in the equivalent solution which is which that means that we have to add 2 K pi okay so each so K is the uh, the number of the number of rotations okay now suppose that I have a question if Z to the power of 5 is equals to 3 plus 4 right find the five roots in rectangular form okay so this question is just kind of like saying well okay uh, if X to the power of 3 is 8 what is X so X is uh, 2 2 2 x1 x2 x3 they all equals to 2 okay so similarly x to the power of 5 you need to find the five roots okay and we have and to do that we have to iterate uh, the k in the polar form from 0 to 4 okay from 0 to 4 so that will be k equals to 0 k equals to 1 k equals to 2 k equals to 3 and k equals to 4 okay and uh, so yep so our first step that we need to do is that we have to draw the argon diagram uh, draw 3 plus 4i onto the argon diagram and then obtain the polar form and then plus 2k pi after that okay plus 2k pi after that next uh, we have to get rid of the fifth power by by raising the, uh, the right hand side to the one over fifth, well, one to the power of one over five, which is that. And from the Moist theorem, uh, we we obtained uh, this equation here. Okay. Keep in mind, dividing by five means that everything on the top is divided by five. Okay. So this whole thing is divided by uh, whatever the power that is raised to okay and we do and we iterate from zero from k equals to zero all the way down to k equals to four okay and we obtain the uh, rectangular form here we have obtained the rectangular form and that is our solution so if we uh, so if we multiply all of these together I'll get back uh, the same thing so which is z5 is equal to 3 plus 4i okay now again one cool little feature about this is that all the roots are spread out evenly across the argon diagram okay so this is this can be like a 
a cool trick that you can uh, use or to check your answers uh, in the exams if you're not confident okay so I hope you guys understand and uh, if you have any questions at all please feel free to uh, drop me a message on the discussion board and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as possible okay I'll see you guys in the next lecture